right, so as I said, I've got these cables. On one end, I've got this really crazy Krona block connector. It's actually designed for gigabit, and I could use that in this stack, but I, I'm not going to. So instead, I'm going to chop the end of the cable off and uh, punch it into the block, and then I'm going to run it across into the cabinet, or I'm going to go ahead and just connect it to the back of this. As you can see, it's the same on both sides, so I'm just going to plug them in. And I should have should have enough for 24. Uh, but that's, that's kind of the idea behind here is it's all going to come into this. So all of these are going to just come up into the cabinet and plug into these ports. And then it will automatically be plugged in over here. Now I could have put this into the server cabinet and contained it all in the same space. But then, you know, you wouldn't have this cool... You wouldn't have that. I mean, that... that that, that's really the whole reason for that part is stress test and developing and yeah, the, the switch stack is I mean come on. cables pulled up. I still gotta band them with some Velcro along the way, but I will do that when I'm done. I've already, you pull on each string, in, or each string, each cable individually, and it cleans up your cable lines. Uh, I will again, like I said, I'll go back through this once more and clean that up so it's not as tangly, but it's gonna have this nice coiled wave to it. And then once that is done, uh, I'm going to start with cable number one, I'm going to clip it, strip it back, and then it's going to get punched down. So, we've got all the tools for the job, there's the scissors, there's my cable strippers, and the punch tool. And that's what's going to happen. So some people are asking me what this is all for, and it's like, well, um, I have a background in network engineering and system architecture and all that kind of fun jazz. So upgrading my switch and my network to a 10 gig, got one of these is running to my desktop, and the other one is running to my my virtual machine server. And then when my multi-mode cables come in, uh, it's Christmas time, so they you know, they don't. Uh, I get to plug in uh, two transceivers. And I gotta take those and I'm gonna run them up and over. And they're gonna connect to this server. And I'm gonna plug in this card. Mm -hmm. This Melanox card is gonna go in here to the, the firewall. Uh, the firewall will have a 10 gig uplink to the internal network, uh, which will allow me to carve off VLANs and any kind of interconnection uh, between VLANs in the, in, the, in the network will be plenty of bandwidth to go around. Some people are asking, what, what is this for? Well, a couple of things. One is I wanted the connectivity of this nature, and I know how to do all this stuff, so I, I made it 
the way I want it to be. Uh, the, the benefit to having all of this is that I can now, from an enterprise standpoint, and in general just from a, a you know, functionality standpoint, having a switch of this nature and this nature, I can, again, I can connect the two of them together. I can do a lag, which is a uh, link aggregation group um, using the LACP protocol, which is the link, ag link aggregation control protocol, which is different than Cisco's uh, Ether channel. It accomplishes the same task in a different fashion, in a different way. Uh, the Ether channel is proprietary Cisco stuff. Uh, this is, is not. Uh, and then I can show you how to configure a switch like this Force 10, possibly this SMC, uh, for uh, maybe you want to do a lag connection to your storage or to your firewall, uh, and you can do that. Uh, I actually have this cable and this cable, so ports 1 and 2, which this switch starts at port 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way to 43 is here. And then it's 44, 5, 6, and 7, and then 8, 9, uh, and then 50 and 51 are on the back. Uh, but we can do lag ports. I can do. I can show you how VLANs operate and what they are supposed to do and how they're supposed to be used uh, in a multi-switch uh, environment. Why you would use them, how that all goes together. Uh, you know, reading a Wikipedia page is fine, uh, but until you really see it in practice and practice in the why you would do that is... Uh, it's I, know, I, I just I find it easier to explain it when you actually have a, a, a practical environment to show it in. Um, but otherwise, I've got to get the Ecologic PS6100 online. It's got a bunch of 500 gig drives or 600 gig drives, uh, 10,000 RPM drives. I got to get that up and running. So then I have some iSCSI uh, iSCSI targets because it's just a SAN versus a versus a NAS. Uh, a NAS would be network attached storage being that you can do something like, I don't know, technically you could run, uh, you can have a NAS running on Windows, and basically you just load up a system with a bunch of storage, run Windows, doesn't have to be a Windows server, and then just share a bunch of uh, Windows shares, some Samba shares, uh, and that would technically be a NAS, network attached to storage, where a SAN is a storage area network, and it is block level access to uh, your hard drive uh, storage space. Um, so, so you you add, it addresses the like an iSCSI target addresses the SAN on a block level instead of on a, on a file sharing level, which is you can show the difference between the two of those. Anyway, that, that's what all this is supposed to be about. Uh, but otherwise, uh, that's it. I, I've been working on this for a while. It's been a long, slow, and arduous process, uh, but we're we're getting there. So a lot of stuff that I got in the pipe and projects that I'm working on and filming a lot of stuff. Uh, I've got a person who uh, is, is, is saying they're going to help me with some editing, so I'm hoping that that will kick into, into gear after the beginning of the year and we can make, uh, you'll see more stuff, more updates, and more than just these uh, me rambling into the, into the phone camera vloggy type stuff. Um, so that's, that's what's going on. Uh, I've got a sale on t-shirts. I know they've only got two in there. I'm hoping to sell some of that stock down. I can produce the third shirt that I've got, and I've got a couple other shirts that I want to make. Uh, there's a sale, so I'll have a link in the description with the link for the sale. It's 29% off because it's Volt 29 Alpha, so you get 29% off everything in the store. Uh, and like I said, I'll have a link down in the description. Uh, otherwise, you know, like, subscribe, leave comments, all that fun jazz, and I will... See you probably after the new year.